joke, Marion. Very good. You're going to get more money, more money. You'll get money. But with the word uh, from the President of the United States with his power and influence... <laughs> oh, the show is going to be simply ridiculous tonight. Say, you know, we ought to watch that because this is the first time in television that a girl has been chosen for her outstanding talent and beauty. And so the fight is on. <laughs> We haven't missed it. No, we haven't. In fact, it's time right now. What up, DC? Stay tuned and see what's up. And you don't need to change your car. You could keep your tires inflated to start. And if you keep your engine tuned, you could give a ride to other people than you. You can still be green with the car you have. You can still be green with the car you have. All right, this next segment right here is our food review segment. This week, Zoha went to Dangerously Delicious Pies in D.C. off 8th Street to see what their pies taste like. What up, DC? We're here at Dangerously Delicious Pies at 1339 H Street Northwest in the Atlas District. We are here to chow down on some dangerously delicious pies. So come on, let's go try each one of their savory, quiche, and sweet flavors. Let's go. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Good. Well, I would like to try one of each of our flavors. All right, I've got savory quiches and Now that is dangerously delicious. It's probably why we call it Baltimore Bomb. I must say, they were dangerously delicious. 
please join us next week to see what we taste on What Up TC. Man, those pies look delicious. Here is the co-owner of Dangerously Delicious Pies in D.C., Sandra Basanti. So I was finishing up grad school up in New York, and um, it was just getting ready to graduate at like the worst time to ever find a job. And a buddy of mine um, had introduced me to Rodney, who's had his, who started Dangerously Delicious, and has had that shop up in Baltimore for almost 10 years now. And after I re met Rodney, he was like, well, so are you interested in maybe, you know, coming back to DC, which is where I'm originally from, um, and getting this pie shop rolling and getting the right people involved. And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome. And after I met him and got the whole like lowdown and what the pie shop was all about, I was definitely in, like Flynn. <laughs> anyway. Finally got our doors open in April, and it's been a whirlwind ever since. <laughs> we have sweet pies, savory pies, and quiche, which means we can do all your favorite berry pies, depending on what's in season, because we use all fresh ingredients. Nothing's frozen, no preservatives, none of that. It's all made from scratch, handmade, just like Grandma used to make. Um, so it's a very rustic product, and I'm proud to say that. Um, no cookie cutters here. So, um, and then as far as uh, savory pies go, people think it's kind of crazy, but everywhere else in the world seem to catch on to the whole meat pie thing. But uh, you can really pretty much do anything with pies. So we have a steak pie, we have a pork pie, we have a sausage pie. Um, and we're mo we also have quiches um, for vegetarians, for meat eaters. We're starting to get into the whole vegan thing. We're gonna try working on um, people with gluten allergies so that they can still get their pie fixed when they need it. <laughs> Basically we picked H Street, Northeast DC, which is what they call an up-and-coming neighborhood. Um, there's a lot of really cool businesses that are already here and others that are popping up. Um, but we're sort of like this crazy family of sorts and it's definitely a cool neighborhood that we got involved in because there's not a vibe of competition at all. It's definitely this feeling of camaraderie where everyone's sort of rooting for each other to do well. So yeah, I mean business has been, has been pretty good. Um, and we're just trying to get the word out there uh, all over um, DC. Um, we're located in Northeast but you know we're trying to push out to other areas, Southeast, Northwest, all the good stuff. And then uh, into Virginia too, and Baltimore's pretty much got Maryland covered, but um, so yeah, the tri-state area, um, trying to feed the public their pie, because there hasn't really been any, a lot of options for, for pies, which is like the most American thing, so I don't really know, we're scratching an itch, <laughs> I guess, an all-American itch. <laughs> You can always come by and um, pick up a whole pie, a slice of pie. Um, we're open from 8 a.m. every day till midnight during the week and then 3.30 in the morning on Fridays and Saturdays. So we're pretty much, if you ever come by, most likely we're open. Um, we also uh, do catering. So if you wanted, um, we've done a couple weddings, birthdays, private events, um, also like office lunches, stuff like that. Um, so it's something that's a little bit more unique and it's not just like your regular old sandwich. And so um, uh, we'll, hopefully by the fall we'll have our shipping down. Um, we're, our pies are in factories trying to figure out how the best way to ship a pie is so that it gets to your house in LA with uh, keeping the integrity of the pie like, you know, so it arrives as if it just came out of our oven um, is, the, is the plan anyway. So until we master that, we, uh, we don't really, we don't do the shipping thing yet, but we will. Um.